Today we got some hickory smoked Uncle Steve shake seasoned bone-in chicken breast. Oh my God, they came out so good. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Todd and this is Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. And guys, right off the bat, folks, I know about 75% of you folks are not subscribed, so please subscribe to this channel. It really means a lot to us and it helps us out. So check this out, guys, in this continuing series of Yoder Smoker Hickory Cooked Meats, we present to you my favorite, one of my favorite pieces of meat, chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are absolutely underrated, but they are so easy to cook, so flavorful, it really makes a barbecue star out of anybody, especially me. Now we had eight of these, which is just right for a dinner and a few nights of leftovers. Uh, who am I kidding? Maybe one day. Using the hickory splits that I've showed you in previous videos, I cut them down a little bit to make them a little bit more manageable. Now I didn't expect this cook to be very long. So I used some cowboy hard lump charcoal and a torch to help bring up the pit temperature faster and not having to use all that wood. Now I have a lot of lump charcoal sitting around. I used a torch uh, to help start the charcoal uh, and I'll leave a link down in the description for uh, that propane torch. Once it was going, you know, I just took that charcoal basket and dumped it out in there and then started throwing the log splits on there and then we were in business. I was going for about a 250 to 275 cook range now, I didn't think that this would take very long, two hours max, and I think that's just about what we had. I cooked it skin side up, guys. I didn't use any special ingredients other than the Uncle Steve Shake Gator Shake, guys. This stuff is fabulous, guys. If you haven't tried Uncle Steve's, go get you some. I'll leave a link down in the description. He supports the barbecue community wholeheartedly, and his rubs are fantastic. Now the reason I went skin side up is because after trimming, I wanted that to be basically the presentation side. And if you do this right, you can come out with some really beautiful looking chicken thighs, guys. Really important for presentation when you're having those special occasions. Now there's a few tricks to making sure that you have nice dry skin so that you got that crunch when you're uh, biting into that chicken, but you still have the juiciness. One is you can marinate these chicken thighs in Ziploc bags overnight or just for a few hours and then put them out in the fridge uh, for a few more hours to let dry. Now that's the trick really. However you get there, but get there, dry out that skin. That's, that's the key here. And toward the end, if you're able to crank up that temperature, get a nice little broil going if you can, and that will help dry up that skin, give you that crunch a little bit more. So, didn't take long guys. After a couple hours, most of the chicken thighs were in the range of 165 to 170, 175, so we were done. So we pulled them off, no time to rest here guys, and we bit into those juicy, delectable chicken thighs and they were fantastic guys. Nice and juicy and real super tender. Uncle Steve's shake is, uh, gator shake is a home run every time. Mm -hmm. Can't tell you how well these things tasted, especially with the Uncle Steve's shake. That hickory smoke kiss, man, it's perfect, guys. Again, chicken thighs are inexpensive. They taste great. The dark meat, there's a lot of fat in there. The only little thing, you gotta make sure that you cook it long enough to kind of render some of that chicken fat in there. And that's the key to juiciness, guys. Rendering the chicken fat. Quite often when you're just grilling them over open charcoal, and you're searing them for a short amount of time, it doesn't always allow time for a lot of that, mm. <laughs> that chicken fat oh, to render down. Good. But you need to do that, guys. Key step. Now you can grill it at the end, again, to get that crispiness, but let it smoke for a while. All right, guys, that's about all we have for today. I'm glad you watched. Now go check out the description, the links for some of your kitchen equipment, including these fabulous Grillaholics chicken tongs, 20% off using discount code GREENHORN at the Grillaholics website. Links down below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Oh, man. Super juicy, huh? All right. Mmm. Mmm.